Chad Gallivanter here, and I make videos about travel, history, and Florida life here on YouTube. Today, 12 things we love about downtown Sanford. Just under a half hour drive northeast of Orlando on the southern banks of Lake Monroe is the historic town of Sanford, Florida. This growing city of more than 50,000 people is one of Central Florida's oldest incorporated cities. In the late 1800s, it was a transportation hub with both commercial train and steamboat service. Citrus was big until the Great Freeze and then large amounts of celery was grown here, earning Sanford the nickname Celery City. Today, just as it's been for the past century, historic First Street serves as the epicenter of downtown Sanford. Shops, restaurants, galleries, and microbreweries filled the old storefronts, making Sanford a fun destination for a few hours, a full day, or longer. Here are 12 things we love about downtown Sanford, Florida. It all has to begin with Sanford's famous river walk. This paved trail along stunning Lake Monroe is a popular spot for joggers, bikers, romantic walkers, or those desperately in need of some alone time on an old-fashioned swing. Not only a beautiful place to walk, but also some great history along this waterfront as well. Watch boats come and go from the marina, or take a stroll through Veterans Memorial Park, which pays tribute to those who served in all of this nation's wars. The Sanford Museum has been collecting the history of the city since 1957 and has hundreds of photos, artifacts, and other items on display. Next door is Fort Mellon Park, a large green space with plenty of shade, covered pavilions, and a splash pad. There was once a Seminole War era fort near this location, and the town took on the name of Mellonville during the 19th century. When you see this antique clock, it means one thing. You're at Magnolia Square. While the square is always a good meeting spot, it comes alive on Saturdays when it turns into Sanford Marketplace, a perfect opportunity to support local. The most unique shopping experience in town is just across the street. The Imperial at Washburn Imports is a bar inside a furniture store. This is one of our favorite stores in Central Florida, featuring large-scale imports from exotic locations like Burma, Indonesia, Vietnam, and other spots in Asia and the Pacific Rim. Every item is hand-selected to ensure quality and craftsmanship. Stick around till evening when the Imperial Bar comes alive, always making for a fun night out. In the building you see behind me, they take the art of making gourmet marshmallows to a whole new level. There is such a thing as gourmet marshmallows, and no one does them better than Wonder Maid. This homegrown company handcrafts all types of flavored marshmallows, including a boozy set with beer, whiskey, gin, and bourbon. One of Abby's favorite things to do at Wonder Maid is to have a s'more. crunch of that homemade waffle, it is so good. The Wonder Maid shop also makes its own ice cream. My favorite flavor, cornbread. No joke, it really has cornbread in it. This is the only way I like my cornbread. Ice cream form. With one, two, sometimes three restaurants on every block, downtown Sanford is a foodie's dream. The food scene here has really exploded in recent years with a good mix of all types of cuisine. You will definitely find something you like here, we always do. One of the newest spots to grab a bite is Henry's Depot. 
Housed inside an early 20th century train depot, this culinary food hall is anchored by a large bar with a number of individual food options. We go here often for the wood-fired pizzas from Oak Flame or the sandwiches from Salvatore's. My new favorite, fresh cut rosemary french fries from What The Chuck. Hands down the best fries I've had in Central Florida. Downtown Sanford is a place that takes its beer seriously. Brew houses, tap rooms, gastropubs, bottle shops, beer gardens, even an urban winery call the city home, making Sanford the perfect spot for a night on the town. Magpies is a modern general store where supporting local is just what they do. The corner shop stocks handcrafted goods made right here in Central Florida. And many would make great souvenirs to take back home if you're from out of town. It's a funky little shop that supports the common good, and we enjoy supporting them. Janine Taylor Folk Art and Gallery on First, an institution in downtown Sanford. Since the late 1990s, this creative space has featured the works of local artists. Many call this home base and can often be seen crafting something new. Of course, no visit is complete without spending some quality time with Louis, the owner's French bulldog and official gallery mascot and door greeter. The bubble waffle originated in Hong Kong in the 1950s. Today, it's a popular dessert treat you can have right here in downtown Sanford at Palette Bubs and Ice Cream on West 2nd Street. The waffles are fresh made every time you order, hot, lightly sweetened, and delicious. You can then choose what flavors of ice cream and toppings you want inside. The bubs come in two different sizes. No matter what combinations you pick, you will enjoy start to finish. It always seems like there's something special going on in downtown Sanford. From the indie market held several times a year outside Tuffy's Bottle Shop to Sanford Porch Fest, which has become one of our favorite yearly events in Central Florida. Every February, front porches in historic neighborhoods are transformed into concert stages. Folks take blankets and lawn chairs from house to house listening to some of the area's best music acts. Money raised is for a good cause, art-based programming in the schools, and fine art scholarships. That's our list of 12 things we love about downtown Sanford. If you have a favorite you want to add to the list, be sure to leave it in the comments section down below. From downtown Sanford, Florida, until next time, happy gallivanting.